hello guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how you can integrate uh, the template uh, actually we have talked about in our first video right so in this video i'm going to show you how you can actually implement or integrate okay sorry integrate this template for your project so let me extract it so i will actually provide you the link so that you can download this template okay so just double click on it and go inside of it and here you can see all the files so what i can do is don't need these two items i'm going to delete them and let's copy them and paste them in our project so our project is inside gem and then stdocs then hospital is our project right so let's go inside it and then go to the public folder and here you can actually uh, create a folder so you can say that front end and keep all the file inside it so this is for the front end now we'll actually implement it so let's go to the code editor here so guys here inside public folder we have front end right so we're going to create uh, you know every single page in our view but let's start with the index this one and we are going to actually keep uh, a file in the views and the file will be main design we'll actually keep a common design for every single page so we'll actually create a main design and then we'll extend the design in every single page right so i'm going to copy everything from here and let's go to the views so inside resources we have views you may actually create here a folder for front end but as we have admin folder so we don't need to actually create you know separate folder for i mean front end so what i'm going to do i'm going to go inside views and here i'm going to create a new file and the file name will be let's say main design dot blade dot php and here i'm going to paste everything we have and here you can see that uh, our asset uh, is inside where inside if i go to the public folder here you can see our, we have a front end and then asset so uh, here you can see every single uh, link and reference actually uh, they have start from asset right but we have another folder for it right front end so what i'm going to do i'm going to actually add the front end so in the reference uh, we'll actually keep blade syntax okay so we'll not do this like this way you may actually use here you know uh, asset uh, this you know curly braces and then you can say asset and then you can actually mention uh, the folder name and that is front end let's say front end and then slash sorry slash then asset uh, the folder name subfolder name here you can see then css and then main uh, const.css right so you can do this or maybe you can actually directly say here that okay uh, i have here front end front underscore end that's it so both will work okay so let's copy this uh, i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste in every single reference okay paste it So as we have added all the link now uh, what i uh, what i will do we'll actually uh, create index file for the home page i mean let's say uh, if if i go to the route let me go to the route at first uh, routes then web.php and here you can see we have uh, return uh, welcome uh, when we actually uh, you know this is our home page right i mean when we uh, this is our home url you can see so we don't want to actually do this we will actually keep uh, I mean remove the function and we'll keep it inside user controller I mean from the user controller we'll return the main view okay so let's go and uh, now change here I will say user user controller then colon colon class then comma we'll actually uh, target here a function and that function name will be index okay and maybe we can actually give your capital I and that's it and we can actually give uh, here a name and that would be let's say index uh, oh, sorry we have to give your route right uh, not really i have to say here name and then index okay index. and now guys we will actually go to the user control and we we'll create a function let's go app stdb controllers then user controllers and here uh, we will go we will actually create public function index uh, and here we are going to say that okay now uh, 
we will actually return view from here okay return view we will actually create a view for the index i will say index dot blade dot page. and now let's go to the resources and then views okay let's go to the resources then views and here we are going to create our index blade index dot blade dot php and now here i'm going to extend the main design so uh, we'll actually change uh, main design but before that i'm going to actually extend it extends main design i will say main design right d e s i g n okay so main design now it will actually extend all the design from the main design okay so let's go and uh, go to the browser and here we are going to actually say localhost our default url and here you can see now uh, it will not show us you know the laravel default page it will show us the index.play.php here you can see so now if anyone uh, actually uh, go to our home url they can actually find it so we have implemented right now we have you know separate page and it will not work why here you can see not found because we haven't actually create all the route and all the views for them right so you may actually create it now uh, uh, you can actually change all the things let's say in the index page we can actually uh, show all the doctors details let's say our doctors okay so uh, then latest news and everything so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep in uh, i mean all those you know header and footer in the main design okay header and footer in the main design and we'll actually keep uh, all the body part in the index so let's go uh, i'm going to actually create here a section i'll go i'm going to say here section okay and the section name let's say index base and i have to end the section end section and here uh, we'll actually copy from main design i mean we'll uh, copy the body part okay so let's go to the body this is the page i'm going to actually separate i mean i'm going to cut it from here and i'm going to add it inside index.blade.page so let's go uh here i'm going to copy it uh, and you can see we have latest news also so i'm going to cut it from here and here i'm going to say that okay i want to sorry i'm going to say that doctors section and here i'm going to yield it so i'm going to say why i yield yield and i'm going to yield what index so the base name i mean section name is index underscore base so i'll say index underscore base and now let's go in the index and here i'm going to paste all the things i have actually cut from the main base so now uh, if i refresh here you can see everything is same right now let's say we have uh, you know a doctor's information in our database so we can actually show it in the index and it will be actually shown with uh, extend main design right i mean it will extend the main design also so everything and now let's say one to uh, you know let's say i have uh, about us okay and in the about us we shouldn't actually uh, sh show this uh, hero page right i mean hero slide or slider or hero image or whatever you say uh, we don't want to actually show uh, from here to here so we'll actually uh, separate them uh, for a single page so let's go create i'll actually say that uh, the first one will be uh, in the main design uh, so this is the this is the uh, hero section right okay so let's go page hero right okay so i'm going to cut it from here and i'm going to say here that Base hero okay and we are not going to actually extend it mm, here we uh, i mean we'll actually say here that we'll actually create a new file okay so let's go to the views here and here we are going to create a new file let's name it as hero dot blade dot php here i'm going to paste it but uh okay yeah so now let's say uh now if i refresh now you can see there will be no uh, hero slide right you can see our doctors so now let's say i want to add hero slide in this space 
index page so what should i do i'll actually go to the index and here after main design i mean i have extend main design right now i will say include so now i will include what i will include a uh, hero dot blade dot PHP. now let's go and refresh and here you can see we have added hero but the problem is uh, it's showing you know at the top and our extend uh you know uh sorry our our uh, header is showing at the bottom right so we are not going to do this we are going to actually keep it inside section okay so let's go add inside section and now refresh uh and here it is now it's look good right okay so now uh in every single uh i mean page when i need the uh you know hero section that time actually i will include it otherwise i will not include it because uh, in every single place actually i don't need to include this right let's say i want to go to the doctor uh, details uh, okay page so if i go to the doctor details page and the, that page also um, actually um, it will be shown right if i keep it inside main design so i don't want to do this so that's why actually i have separate them and i have uh, when i need it i will actually include it okay that's it so guys uh now i don't need um uh, yeah i need it in the index right so i have included it okay and uh, that's it for today's video and in our next video i'm going to show you how you can add login and registration system here so we have a login and registration system right we have created right but we haven't actually add here uh, all the stuff if i click on login and registration here you can see there is nothing happening so we are going to actually implement it okay in our next video thank you so much for watching